Man, I love this bike. Look at that view. We'll see what happens. I'm not a great fly fisherman. Oh, my line's a mess. I don't want your germs. I know. <laughs> what is going on here? Gravel casual. Love it. Uh, that made no sense. Holy crap, what a nice day. All right, so I had a bunch of, I had a big ride plan that I was gonna do today, but it's so pretty in this beautiful mountain town of Lincoln, New Hampshire, where we live, that I'm just gonna go do some fishing hole, uh, puddle jumping with my new gravel bike. That Nikki and I each got one gravel, uh, gravel backpacking type of bike, or bike packing, shall I say. Uh, kind of a departure from what we normally do with the big huge suspension bikes. I sold my bike to pay for these two bikes. And I am, I love this thing. It's awesome. I can just, it's like one of those bikes you want to get on it and, and ride. It's a Salsa Journeyman Sora. It's not the highest end model, it's not even close, but man, I think one of the best bikes you can own is a bike that you just want to get on and ride all the time. This thing's so simple, it's fun to ride, it's zippy. It actually handles off-road really, really well, so I'm not really missing my big full suspension bike much. We rode down to a, uh, a little secret swimming hole yesterday. It's really windy, so I hope you guys can hear me. But, and took it on some pretty beat up stuff, and it was awesome. So, and it's a great way to get around town quickly. So, I've got my fly rod uh, back in my back. I've got a pretty funny rig right now. Uh, I've got my, my GoPro is held on by a cable wire right now. And my Dakine mountain bike kit pack, I rigged it to the handlebar. That actually makes a great handlebar bag. It just looks super janky, but you make do with what you got. So, as we cruise through town here, we're gonna go find some fishing holes. And I am so excited to do this with you guys. Woo! This thing is so fun to ride. Man, I love this bike. Let's go in here behind the hotel with the carbon fork and I think they put a longer chain stay on this bike it really makes it ride like it's got uh, kind of a steel attitude to it will be swift and it very much comes into its own on the gravel the off-road stuff it's fun it's really fun it, it brings back like new life into very basic single track trails it kind of just makes riding fun again i got used to these big huge travel whoo that's a loose sand these big huge full suspension bikes with basically a downhill bike from five years ago uh that pedals and it kind of after a while you get bored you really do it it does so much of the work for you that it takes away that that little spice that the trail gives you. And this thing just shreds, it's fast. I don't want to kill it, we'll just cycle across this. Nailed it. You know, we did the adrenaline bike park stuff, you know, charging downhill for years now. If variety is the spice of life, it's time to try a new spice, I guess. Uh, that made no sense. <laughs> I had to turn around. That trail's so grown in back there behind the visitor center. Look at that view. Bagel shop. Iced coffee time. And say hello to the beautiful Miss Nikki. Go. Thanks, babe. Did you do? You catch anything? No, I haven't gone yet. Just went for a ride. That thing's so fun to just buzz around town all on this little trail. Video? Yeah. yeah. All right. Love you. Love you. Mask. Thanks for wearing your mask. I don't want your germs. <laughs> I know. I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, let's go find a fishing hole. I think I'm going to go into Woodstock and maybe just tool around on one of the little creeks over there. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm not a great fly fisherman yet. I just got this little setup. It's super cheap. Got it from Cabela's for like 
59 bucks. I'm not really big on buying the highest end stuff when you're first starting out doing something. I've had a lot of fun with, with it so far. I go out with the intention I'm probably not going to catch shit because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it, learning it. But the whole point is just to be out there listening to the river, um, enjoying the mountains and the nature around me. And if a fish bites, cool. Cut across here and get in the bike lane. bites here. I didn't think I was going to get any. I'm kind of more so just working on my casting than anything else. Um, like I said, I'm totally new to it. Not new to fishing, not new to fish in nature, but just new to fly fishing. Uh, it's really fun. It's, I love doing it. I suck at it, but it's not. I don't really care. Um, I'm going to go up and go to the dam up here. Just see if I can maybe actually see if I can get like a bite, try some different lures. I'm trying some bead-headed lure right now. See how it goes. Crowd, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, my line's a mess too. Come here, buddy. Awesome. Oh, he's a cute little guy. Oh, hey, bud. Woo. Yeah. Right, let's get this out of your mouth. See you, bud. Amazing. I forgot to crimp down the barb on that hook. I felt bad. I, I usually like crimp the barb so I don't hurt the fish so bad or my finger. That was amazing. And caught a fish on fly rod for the first time ever. So that was cool. Uh, I'm going to go back, see Nikki, make some food. I'm just hungry. I would have stayed out a little longer, but I'm getting starving. So I'm going to go see Buddy. And then I think we'll go for a swim. All right. That was awesome.
take the back way, get on a little gravel back to the house. This just cuts back to our place and to the river spot that's right behind our place. It's a beautiful spot. my gimbal there we go let's try this again all right I think it's a good time to uh, wrap up this video I'm gonna go for a quick dip behind our place here uh, I had a great time taking you guys around our town and just kind of showing you that you know you don't have to go far to have a cool adventure you can go right in your own backyard and enjoy what's there and make the absolute most of it I encourage you to do that wherever you live um, I'm really stoked I caught a fish. I was not expecting that. So very happy about that. Um, and I really love this little bike. It's, it's kind of changed my, uh, my perspective of my own town. It lets me explore a lot more. And that's really what I want to do. That's what Nikki wants to do. So I love this thing. I love this day. Had such a great time taking you guys around. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I can't wait to share, with this, share this video.